Guido and Ariel here of Root Source. Hope you can hear me in the beautiful mountains of Judea. We are in eastern Gush Etzion, just between uh, the uh, the block, the Etzion block between Jerusalem and Hebron on Route 60, the route of the patriarchs, down towards the Dead Sea. We're just in between over here in a little settled area with about four small communities surrounding us, as opposed to Gush Etzion, which has some even gigantic communities of, of 1,000 and 3,000 families. Here you have about 50 and 70 families. To the west is Meitzad, which means fortress, and Pnei Kedem, which means overlooking the east. And to the east, you have Ma'ale Amos, the heights of Amos, the prophet Amos, who lived in this area, and Ibe Hanachal, which means the edges of the, uh, the valley. And here we are standing in a place called Enot Tsurim. I might, get, I might have gotten that wrong, but it really means the rocks of the gazelles. And that is because, as you can see, there are plenty of rocks here. The, the rocks here are the rocks of Genesis, and the gazelles are the, the life and the love that are coming out of this area. And on this spot, our friends, uh, Arya Bramwitz and Jeremy Gimpel, decided to build their life's dream of a new Jewish plus settlement, a village, a, a small village of one house where Ari lives, another place I'm not sure where Jeremy and his family are going to live, and the uh, educational center which we are hearing about tonight. So you came to the right place, this is going to be great. <laughs> All right, Ari, what does tonight mean for you? Tonight is a monumental night. I believe in the history of Israel, but definitely in my personal life and in, in the mission Jeremy and I have been on for 20 years. The mission to be spreading uh, the truth and the beauty of Israel to the whole world and to be here in the hills of Judea, to have founded this place that although I'm not 100% sure of what it's going to be, I feel very much like Walt Disney must have felt when he looked out at the mountains that Disney World would be on and he just knew that this would be a place that people from around the world would come and this is where they'll come not for Disney attractions but for meaning, for understanding what the Jewish message is, what the message of Judea is, who are we as the Jewish people, what is the mission of the Jewish nation to really connect with, with who we are and, and the essence of who all of us are. This is where we're all from. I'm not usually so prophecy heavy, but it's sort of hard not to be here. And, and so I, I have to quote the prophet Amos. I, I would be remiss not to because it was in these mountains that the prophet Amos had his visions. Right there, Ma'ale Amos, there's a, a village, Jewish village, you can see it with your naked eye. He said, I will return my people Israel. They shall rebuild ruined cities and inhabit them. They shall plant vineyards and drink their wine. They shall plant gardens and eat their fruits, and I will plant them upon their soil, never to be uprooted again. You know, Ari always says, there's no way to solve this conflict. There is no solution. This can only be transcended. But in order to do that, we need to discover who we are as Jews. What does it mean to be a Jew? You know, Ben-Gurion once said, it doesn't matter what the nations say, it matters what the Jews do. But honestly, so many Jews have no idea what to do. So many of us feel so lost. A lot of people think we're called Jews because we're from the tribe of Judah, but that's not true. We know the first time someone is called a Jew in the Tanakh is Mordechai. Mordechai Ha-Yehudi, Mordechai the Jew. But we know he's Ish Yemini from the tribe of Benjamin. Well, so why is he called a Jew if he's from the tribe of Benjamin? He's called a Jew because he was from Judea. We are called Jews because we are from Judea. Chinese are called Chinese because they're from China. Japanese are called Japanese because they're from Japan. Jews are called Jews because we are from Judea. This land gave birth to our identity as Jews. Why does the world call this the West Bank? 
West of what? What are they talking about? This is Eastern Israel. West of Jordan? Jordan has no claim on this land at all. They're not asking for it. So why is the world so focused? And they are very articulate every time. They look at the map, they say Judean mountains, the Judean desert, West Bank. They'll always call it the West Bank. Why do they call it the West Bank? Because it's easy to say settlers occupying the West Bank, get out. But really what they're saying is Jews, get out of Judea. And that's a little bit harder. Because if a Jew can't live in Judea, where can a Jew live? I'm Zach Waller with Hayuvel. I'm the executive director of Hayuvel, and this is my son, Asaf. And you're just part of the festivities here. What does this mean to you from your perspective? Uh -huh. um, it was an amazing event tonight. It was um, so good to actually be here in Judea. And uh, several times it was said tonight that um, Judea is the home place of the Jews. Jews live in Judea. And um, it's such a powerful thing to see. Uh, the Jewish people living here, not just living here, but thriving and rejoicing and celebrating and bringing life back to this land. Uh, the, the prophets talk about the, the land being revived, the land being restored, and we're seeing that happen right here before our eyes. So this event was really a celebration of life and the life that God is bringing back into this land. So it was an amazing um, thing to be a part of this event and to be with Ari and Jeremy and the guys here from the Land of Israel Network. Uh, it was a huge blessing for me. Come to Israel. All like right. It. All right. Well.